It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking discount, where we're going to find the percent of decrease. We have a customer who wants to purchase a sweater from a store. We're told three things about this purchase. The original price of the sweater is $40. The sweater is on sale for 10% off the original price. And third, the customer has a coupon for 25% off the sale price. Then we're told that the customer is claiming that she can determine the final price of the sweater by taking 35% off the original price since 10% add 25% is equal to 35%. So we're going to select from these drop down menus to correctly complete each statement. We need to determine if the customer's claim is correct or incorrect. Is this the same as this? And then the final price of the sweater will be, we have to determine what that is. Here's where you pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. We're going to begin with our sweater that is $40. Then we're going to take 10% off that original price of $40. So we want to find 10% of 40 and subtract it. So we're going to have 40 and we're going to subtract 10% or 1 tenth of 40 is 4. So this is 10 equal groups of 4. 10 times 4 is 40. All right, so our 10% is $4. We take that off, we're subtracting. So we're going to have $36 is now our price with that 10% off the original. Now that's our sales price, right? So the third thing says that we have a coupon that is for 25% off that sales price. So we're going to take our sales price of $36 and we're going to subtract 25% of the 36. So we're going to have 36 and we need to subtract. 25% written as a fraction is 1 fourth. 25 out of 100 or 1 fourth, 4 quarters and a dollar. 1 fourth of 36 is 9. So our 25% off coupon gives us $9 off the sales price, not the original price, the sales price. 36 subtract 9 is 27. So our final cost for the sweater is going to be $27. Now we need to determine whether or not the customer's claim is correct or incorrect. The customer's claim is that 35% off the original price 10% add 25% is 35%. So that means we would find 35% of 40. Well, if we look at that, 10% of 40, we already figured out was $4. And then 25% of 40, or 1 fourth of 40, would be 10. So if we're going to do that, it would be $10 plus $4 to equal our 35%. So if we did it the way this claim, we'd take $14 off. If we look at what we did through taking 10% off the original and 25% off the sales price, we took a $4 discount and a $9 discount for a total discount of $13. So this is not the same. The customer is incorrect because we didn't take 25% off the 40. We took 25% off the sales price. So it's not the same thing. So there you have discount or percent of decrease. And that's the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time.